All right, in this video, I'm going to be going over question six from the chapter two POL. Got to click the link and then log in. I'm already logged in, but you can log in with your school Gmail if you don't already have an account. Um, and this is a bunch of practice. Holy buckets, I didn't realize it was this many. But um, I'll kind of blast through some of these. Um, yeah, and hopefully that'll help. The, I guess the main thing here to know is Java does PEM does. So like... You just got to do PEMDAS, right? So like on this one, it's going to multiply these first to get uh, 12. And then this question is going to become 2 plus 12 minus 6 and go left to right here. So that would be 14 minus 6 so would be 8, I believe. Sorry for the poor handwriting. Okay. And then the next one, um, again, do, do the PEMDAS stuff. And just go, uh, so this one's going to do division and then multiply. So it's going to do 14 divided by 7 is 2, then times 2 is 4. So you're going left to right. Uh, division and multiplication are the same level there. So go left to right. So then it's going to be that plus 30 divided by 5, which is 6, plus 1. So all of that should come out to be 11. So I'm doing the best I can here with the writing. Uh, the parentheses will matter, so on this one they'll they'll do that adding first. So you'll have 15 divided by 4 times 2. And again, you're going to do, those are the same level, multiplication, division. So you're going to go left to right. So it's going to do 14, 15 divided by 4, which is like 3.75, and then it'll truncate, right? Because these are ints, it'll truncate to 3. So this will be 3 times 2 or 6. So this one should be 6. Okay, so mod 10, so I got to start in the parentheses here on this next one, and mod 10, maybe I'll change color just to mix it up a little bit here, but mod 10 will always just take the last digit. The remainder when you divide by 10, this will be like 230 will divide evenly with 10, and then you'll have 8 left over. So if we start on the inside there, we'll have, in the parentheses, we'll have 8 plus 3, and then we got to mod that with 7. So this is really going to be 11 mod 7. So the remainder here would be 4. You'd have 1, 7 in the 11, and then you'd have 4 left over. Okay, so this one should be 4. Okay, do the parentheses first on this next one. So that would be 18 minus 7 is 11. So this parentheses is 11. And then times 43 mod 10. Again, mod 10 will just take the last digit, so that'll just be a 3. This part right here will be a 3. So then we have 11 times 3, or 33. Sorry, I kind of got all over the map there, but that one's going to be 33. Okay, then I'm going to clear this screen here and just kind of keep going. Maybe I'll do them one at a time. Hopefully that makes it a little bit easier. Um, okay, so again, I would start on the parentheses just like I would in math. So... 5 divided by 2 will truncate again. That's 2.5, but that's really going to truncate to 2. All right, so that would be a 2. And then again, do the parentheses next to clean it up. So I'm not doing anything else yet. But that's going to be a 22 when you multiply them together. Now with PEMDAS, we're going to do this division because, again, remainder is like division, so I'm going to do the mod next. So the remainder when you divide by 5 there, I think, is 4. Because you'd have if 3 5s would be 15. You'd have 4 left over. So we have 2 plus 4 minus 22. And then uh, 2 plus 4 is 6 minus 22, blah, blah, blah. I think that's negative 16 if I'm doing that math right in my head. Okay, and again, if you need to pause it, pause it. But I'm going to wipe this out and go on to the next one. Okay, next up. Um, we're going to start here. Those are all on the same level, so we're going to go left to right. So mod 100, we'll get the last two digits. So it'll be like 800, and then we'll have 13 left over. So it'd be 13 divided by 3 plus 2.4. It's still going to do integer. These are both ints, so it's still going to truncate there. So I think that's going to be a 4. So then 4 plus 2.4 is just 6.4. Okay, next up, um, these are all the same level, so we're just going to go left to right. So 
26 mod 10 would just be 6, right? That's the leftover part right here. So when you do mod 10, it's the last digit is 6. So then we have 6 mod 4 times 3. So 6 mod 4 would be a remainder of 2. There'd be 1, 2 left over when you divide by 4 times 3, and that should just be 6. And again, pause if you need to see these numbers longer. Okay, next one, um, it's going to multiply first before you ever add. So this is going to be 8 plus 22. So this one should just be 30. Okay, next, these are the same level. So when you do 23 mod 8, I think you can get two 8s in there. So that's 16. And then you're going to have 7 left over. So 23 mod 8, I think it's 7. And then you go mod 3. So there would be two threes in there, so you'd have one left over. So I think this one should just be one. All right, subtraction, just go left to right. These are all the same level. So 12 minus 2 is 10, minus 3 is 7. Uh, here you're going to do the divides first before you ever add. And again, these are integers, so they're going to truncate. So 3 divided by, sorry, 6 divided by 2 is just 3. And then 7 divided by 3 is like uh, 2.33333, right? But it just truncates that. So it's really like 3 plus 2. So this one's going to be 5. Okay, next up. So just all the same level. So multiply 6, go left to right. Uh, 6 times 7 is 42. 42 mod 4 is you'd have four tens with two left over. So this is just going to come out to be 2. Here, multiply first. So next one, multiply first and then add. So you're going to have 12 plus 6. So that should be 18. Um, here, these are all division, essentially. So they're all the same level. Modding by 100 is going to give you the last two digits. So we're going to have 77 mod 10 and 77 mod 10 would be the last digit so you have 7 and then 7 divided by 2 is going to truncate again and that should be 3. I'll try to run them all at the end here and hopefully see if these are right. Okay, um, here start with the parentheses so that's going to be a 10. So we're going to have uh, 89 mod 10 mod 5 so 89 mod 10, just take the last digit, which is just 9, and 9 mod 5, so the remainder there, you'd have 1, 5, and then 4 left over. So it's going to be 4. Okay, here go left to right again. So start with that division, which will truncate again. So that should be 39.2, but it's really just going to be 39. So it'll be 39. So this part right here is a 39. And then we still got the mod. So we'll have 39, another mod 10 divided by 2. Again, okay, the mod 10 will go first because we're going left to right. So then we'll have 9 divided by 2. And that would be 4.5, which really truncates to 4. So this one should be a 4 again. Okay, here again, uh, we would multiply and divide and then subtract at the end. So 8 times 2 is 16 minus 7 divided by 4 is like 1.75 or just 1 when you truncate. All right? If it's integers, Java is going to truncate. you got to put a decimal point in there if you want it to do double math. Okay, last couple here. So here, this goes first. So you'll have 1, 20, and 17 remaining. So the remainder there will be 17. You'll have like 17 left over. Then we got to mod that with 3 and times 4. Okay, and then 17 mod 3, the remainder there, you'd have 5 threes with 2 left over. 5 times 3 is 15, so you have 2 left over. So there's going to be 2 times 4, which is 8. Alright, last one. Uh, so go left to right again. So the remainder there, when you divide by 10, would be 7. So this is just going to be 7 times 4. So this last one's just going to be 28, I believe. Now we can see how we did. See if I bombed out any of these. Oh, I 
missed one. Number uh, number six. No, wait. No, the last one. I got the last one wrong. What the crap? So this should be... Oh, because I times instead of divided. Ah, made it all the way to the end. So this last one is 7 divided by 4. So that would then not be 28, but it would truncate to 1. So this very last one, this should be a 1. Let's see if we can get it right this time. Okay, let me pass them all. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.